Hey everybody, CK here, and I am going to show you this look that I created for my little birthday shindig. And I thought I would show you my outfit too, just in case you don't follow me on Insta or Snap. All right, guys? So, how y'all doing? All right, don't laugh at me because I do have a t-shirt on over this shirt because I was really not trying to mess it up because that always happens to me, okay? So first, we are going in with a base by NYX. It is their, what is it called? Black Bean. Their Jumbo Pinto and Black Bean. And now I am using a shadow by MAC and it is called Saddle. And I typically use this, if you guys follow me, you know that I use this when I don't really want a deep crease color. And now I am using a City Color eyeshadow it is their shimmer eyeshadow and this is in the color it's a boy but i did tell you guys on snapchat that it did crease a little bit on me so i'm gonna have to figure out another base to use for it so that it won't crease because usually i do not have a creasing problem and so now i'm going into makeup geeks eyeshadow and this is in the color corrupt and i am using a pointed crease brush okay or blending brush whatever you want to call it I wanted it so that I can, or I wanted to use this so that I can do some detail work. And so I'm spending a little time showing you guys where I was placing that shadow. And you want to go, you want to pick up a little bit at a time because it's easier to add to and it's harder to fix it when you put too much, okay? And so now I'm just putting some more shadow on to make sure that they blend seamlessly. And then now I'm blending the crease out again and I put a little more saddle. And <laughs> y'all know what that is, right? You should know what this is, guys. This is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And I'm using it as a brow bone highlight. And listen, I put so much on, I did not put it all in the video, but you use it, you know, like at your discretion. And I'm gonna use it at my discretion, okay, guys? <laughs> so now I'm doing my wing liner, and this is the Kat Von D Trooper liner. And I'm just showing you guys a little bit, like how I create the wing and then how I fill it in. And that's about it. I moved on. And now I'm putting a little bit, ugh, a little bit, a little bit of LA Girl black liner just on the outer corner, how I love to do that. Popped on some lashes, doing a little more detail work, and then making sure I cover up that duo with black eyeshadow. Now the name of this shadow, I do not remember at the time, so I am definitely gonna put it in the description box. I will not leave you hanging, all right guys? So now I am using a Makeup Forever primer. This is a mattifying primer that is the Bizom, okay? I'm just saying. And now I'm using a MAC corrector. I mixed it with a little bit of, what is, I think it's LA Girl concealer, but I probably put a little bit too much concealer, but I made it work out for me. And then you guys know, whenever I go to any event, I don't care what it is, I always use my Clinique foundation. So amazing. And then my Maybelline, y'all, seriously, I use this when I go to events sometimes too because it's just that good. This is Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And to me, it operates like a high-end concealer. Seriously, it's actually better than some high-end concealers I've used. Okay, so then you blend that baby on out with your beauty blender or whatever you want to use to blend it out. And I'm trying this item for, well, I think this is the second time in the video, and I really, really like it. This is the NYX Wonder Stick, but the only thing I don't like is I think that is the deepest shade that they have, and I think it's deep or dark or something like that. But it's perfect for me because we know that I don't like super chisel my face, you know, my highlight, or not my highlight, but my contour for my cheek and my nose. I don't like do that chiseled look, so this color works out for me. And now I'm using banana powder because remember, you guys, I told you that I use that when I want more of like a dramatic type highlight. So that's what I'm doing. But you want to make sure when you use this banana powder, if you're my skin tone or a little bit darker, you want to make sure that you blend it out, okay? So I'm using my Ben Nye in clay and I'm using this as an all over powder. And as you can see, I'm blending it together with the highlight so that it, the transition is awesome. Misha came in. Look. What you doing? Oh, the contour. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Aren't you fabulous? Are you going to speak? Speak because it's recording. Oh, where is it? Um, oh, it's right here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at your eyes. Oh, girl, she you. did that. Didn't you did that? Look at her. Okay. You got a highlight? No. We need a highlight. Okay. Back to the regularly scheduled program. So now I am going to go over the contour with my NYX contour kit. I told y'all, like I'm getting all glammed up because it was my birthday that day. And so I'm using my Makeup Geek chisel brush for that. And then now I am using Sun Power by MAC. It is a mineralized skin finish. And I'm not putting anything on my eyes right here. I'm just making sure it's blended out 
great okay guys and now i am using champagne pop because it is popping or it be i know that's not proper grammar but it be popping in pictures okay so i wanted to use that and then i had to make sure it was all good okay now this lippy you guys if you follow me on instagram or snap you know i've been using ofra lipstick like crazy the liquid lipstick and i love this color in brooklyn but here are some behind the scenes shots from my b-day shindig number one because i had two but these are all my lovely friends i have more but some of them did not make it but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys for all of your support i love y'all have an awesome blessed day and i I will see you sooner than you think.